Uh, next on this thing is going to be making a transmission mount. And we're also gonna be putting, we have the intake manifold now, we have a lot of the accessories because we're gonna change to the shorter ones instead of the truck ones. Uh, but last time we did the motor mounts, which we had to custom fab and there is no kit for this thing. If you wanna see that, we have a, a video for you. Uh, but I have the engine sitting at negative two degrees. So essentially that's about where you want it to be for the drive shaft. Uh, you don't want it to be much more or zero because it's supposed to point down towards the, the diff. So we're going to lift it up, do some CAD, my kind of CAD, not fancy smart kind of CAD, and get this thing fully mounted before we start putting everything else on. We're gonna be using a factory mount because it's the easiest way to mount a transmission. And all I'm gonna be doing is making a bracket to support this mount. So we've talked about a few things. I'm gonna see what I can play around with with a CAD and we're probably going to go off of where they put the mount for the last engine, but we're going to make it so that it unbolts. Because I don't know about you, but when things are completely permanently affixed, it's really annoying. Uh, the other thing too is I'll have to uh, plan to have it slightly higher because the mount is going to compress a little bit when weight's on it. Also, if you see it to where it doesn't look like it's level, it's because it's on a lift now and not on ground, so don't worry about that. That's why we checked before. I'm gonna go get my CAD. 37 and a quarter. Well, if you haven't figured it out by, by now, this is what I mean by CAD. It's called cardboard assisted design. Works really well. So I'm gonna make the ends that I want to bolt the mount to. So this is essentially what I'm aiming for is I'm gonna have this up there so that it's got some strength holding the end, right? Uh, I'm also considering having it tilt up a little bit here too to give it a little bit more brace because we have to move up to get this because it's not the same level as the bottom of the frame. But the other thing too is I gotta make it angled so that it lines up with the transmission here. So I gotta figure out how much of the distance I need to make up for on the backside. But that's why we do this, because now I have something to measure, where before I didn't. So I've already trimmed it the way that I want. This is two and a half inches, which is about as much as I want to step up towards the mount. And so these fold up, because when weight's on it, we want this to hold it up. And then these are going to actually fold down. And now you're probably thinking, how am I going to step it up? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut from this corner up and then it's going to fold up and that corner will be up here and then this will be flat there. So it will be a diagonal up. So I cut it, right? And because it's bending, it makes it a shorter distance. So these don't match up. But all we have to do is essentially set it the way that we want it to be and then you can draw, and then I'm going to cut away the excess and we have our step up. So let me do that. We'll go see what it looks like. I'll tape some stuff. And we might have one side. Um, the only thing is I do have to make the adjustment for the gap back here, um, but I'm pretty much going to be doing that like kind of how I'm doing here, overhanging something, trimming it, and then taping it. That way we have a template to go cut out. I put this cardboard piece up because I probably should have in the first place. And it's bolted to the one bolt we're gonna be using for the training mount. And then it just gives me the whole thing across. And so we're gonna set this up in here. And I don't, I don't know about you, but that looks pretty fucking good. 
I'm going to make a couple holes so that we can put little bolts through here. And then we can figure out where we're going to go for the bolts for this piece up here. Don't worry, it won't be that big. But I'm gonna, that way I can at least bolt these together. And then we can adjust with the gap that I have back here for this. And then the only other thing that I'm thinking about is if you look at this, I don't like how this is just a flat piece here. Um, this is solely for me getting the basic design taken care of. But either I'm going to put a little bit of a step in between it so that it has a little bit more, um, just because in my mind, it probably will still bend there if I don't do something. So we have the base design of the mounts on the side that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I might pretty it up. This is the mirrored one that I made. As you can see, I put a little step in it. That way we have a little bit stronger. Um, it's not perfect because the frame is, you know, not identical on the other side. Um, it's not perfectly asymmetrical. But now I'm going to make this and there's some ideas I'm thinking about bending it downwards so that it slides up inside the uh, bracket here. Um, I'm also thinking about uh, bending it upwards and having it above it, but we'll see what I come up with or how many tries I, I do. Okay, so this is what I have so far, but I'm kind of wondering if either this should bend up or <laughs> Yeah? Well, apparently that's what he thinks. If this should bend upwards or if it should go like inside underneath them. You know what I mean? Like if it should. The wheel looks fine. Just with the big rectangle? Yep. That way it looks like a, a Lego. A, a Lego? Yeah. Oh, just because it's a rectangle shape, it looks like a Lego? I want it to look nicer than the one you made for Reed. The one I made for Rain looks sick. This looks like <laughs> something that Jace would have made. How does how does it look sick? <laughs> Jace is six. You needed to see that mount. That mount looked hideous. I think it looked pretty sweet. I don't. It was like some Mad Max shit. Yeah, hideous. That's what Mad Max is about. At least it didn't look infantile. Simple. I drew so on the bottom. Things like bending upside down and whatever. Well, like essentially like, folding it. Like essentially folding it so that it slides it in here. So it's also got a bend. Why don't you so just make it a ski channel? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I know it's it just fucking take the ends and go eek, and then it goes inside of here. That way it like kind of self centers. Okay. And then I also I, I want to bend it either either down. The only thing was going like if it went towards the transmission side where it did the C, um, it would potentially hit the transmission. So then I have to like kind of loop out the center, but why? Because it's so close. Why are you bending it? If it can so make a first problem. shrink. It's, it's the same reason like this one, I added the piece here. Gussets. What do you mean gussets? Like how would I guess it? It's like how would I get Reed's inferior mount that could hold a fucking truck? This one will hold a truck. I don't know, dude. This flimsy piece of cardboard. It <laughs> doesn't look like it'll hold shit. It's cardboard. When it's made out of metal. I think if you folded it up into a C. Yeah. Right? And it slid inside this, and then you just did little across it, little U shape. Inside the C. Yeah. Okay. And then it's just it. It's done. Yeah, I could do that. Real simple. Five minutes. Have it done by the end of the day. <laughs> what? Alright. <laughs> and now for something completely different. This is a uh, this is a '66 AMC Marlin that a customer has here, and he's renting. But he also wants me to work on it to do a front disc conversion on it because he doesn't feel comfortable doing it. So, essentially, what this is is. Part of what's been keeping me from getting so much done on the Mazda truck. Just to give you a heads up, I started the transmission mount on the Mazda truck nine days ago. And that's how long it took for me to get the mount done because 
We have a bunch of other stuff going on and we can't sit and focus non-stop. Whenever we have customers that bring parts, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be a shit show, but more often than not, it is a shit show. Like the first thing that happened with this was, uh, these were the bolts they sent. These were the lengths of bolts that we needed to get them to fit with proper threads coming out. Uh, the second thing, which now that I have the rotor on, is we didn't get a banjo bolt. So we can't put this together. And I sent him with the caliper and everything to try and find one in town. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to trying to work on something else and hopefully get somewhere with it. Well, I have the gist of what I want. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna go over and draw it up, get it cut out come back and hopefully we have a completed mount and I can weld it all on. Thanks to our buddies next door, I was able to go get this stuff made. So now our cardboard is actual metal. Um, it does need some adjustment because of course I made it and this isn't any kind of special thing. So we actually used some scrap uh, because I wasn't going to trust my bolt holes in measuring on there. I'm going to just drill holes through these. And then the last thing I'm going to do is weld them together so that this isn't just a bent seam. Uh, that way it's one piece. Once it's all ready, I have holes where I need to, I'm gonna make sure that this hole is correct. Put that hole in. We're going to set it up on the car and then it should be ready. So I've been stuck in the paint booth for the last few days working on that Crown Vic that we did in the video. This is how the customers dropped it off. They had most of the stuff detrimmed, just like you saw at the beginning of the other video. So they're gonna handle the reassembly. And yeah, if you remember, I mentioned, if you wanna save some money on a paint job, do this for your paint shop. Uh, if you guys didn't see that one, you should check it out. Put a link up my ass. And um, I was astonished because I came over to check out Brandon's progress on this transmission mount for the truck and it looks very remedial at best. I mean, um, I would have said resource, but I was in it, so. Well. Isn't that the same thing? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, if someone shipped this to you, right, and you ordered a transmission mount kit, right, mm -hmm. for your Mazda B2200 pickup truck mm -hmm. to put an LS in it, and this showed up in the mail, would you be happy? I would. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, there's some rough, I mean, I'd be know. happier than the last transmission mount you made. Oh, that thing, all right. That thing we don't have photos ugly. of it. It looked like a three-year-old druid that had Tourette's. Honestly, it looked like a sweet, like, medieval battle axe. <laughs> and it was elegantly formed. Elegantly? And what was elegant al about Albeit it was welded together by someone who didn't know how to weld, so <laughs> that detracted from the beauty that I created a little bit. I mean... But it doesn't look like square peg round hole. No, uh, this looks like square peg square hole. Honestly, I think Jace could have designed this, bro. To keep it simple, stupid. That's and this what is we're going for. also gonna fail. You're gonna fail. I keep telling him to put a gusset there. There is going to be a gusset. Still no I gusset. Made it yet. Still I no gusset, much. dude. Just keep looking at it. <laughs> the gussets are next, like these ones. I gotta do. I gotta do these, and then I gotta do the ones back well, here. Well, that's not gonna hold. That's cardboard. But it fits well. <laughs> 
So obviously there's some, some beautification that needs to be done, right? We need to add more organic free flowing shapes and make it look um, elegant and well designed. And on this side, we'll put a little bit of avocado toast. Yeah. This, that'll, that'll really bring it together. This is the avocado toast. This side has the fitness skinny tea. <laughs> What's a skinny tea? <laughs> the skinny, I'm not a part of the this right weight now. loss detox tea. Are okay. gonna be on this side, and, and then, then it'll be enema right here, and then it'll be ready for social media. <laughs> so we'll be posting photos of that All later. Right, so in, in, in the gym, check out the Instagram. I have I have a few more things to finish on this, uh, which is the little the little gussets and the piece back here that we're gonna use to brace it. Um, and you gotta make it pretty. I'll make it a little bit. I, I'm not a pretty person. Okay, this looks fucking well, yeah, I'm gonna curve So that. you admit that it looks worse than the one that I made. I, I admit that it looks like me. I think it looks way The worse. one that you made. Oh my God, this lens is filthy, dude. Slacking. I cleaned it. What are you doing? Slacking. Uh, I looked at it, that's what it was. Yeah, Brian but, uh, broke the, the camera. The one that you made looked like hammered dog shit. I don't know, bro. If you had these side by side, all right, I'll get Reed to send me a picture of the one that I made, and then we'll do a poll in the next video, and we'll have the two photos side by side Which of the one mounts. Which do you think is better? And you can tell us. We'll let the viewers decide because I'm always gonna say that mine's better, obviously, and Brandon can't admit that he's wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fred can't admit that he's wrong. So we'll see in the next video who was right. Fred, crush your spirit. The the key thing with Fred is to never have any spirit around him. <laughs> <laughs> then it won't be crushed. What? He asked if you crushed my spirit. And I said the key thing is to not have any spirit around Fred because then it won't be crushed. Exactly. <laughs>